Hey guys, Ronnie here. Today in this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a nice glow or nice outline around your photos. So this is the end result we are going to try to achieve. And you can see around my photo right here, I have this nice outline, right? This glowing effect around my photo. So how do we do this with Canva? Uh, a lot of people are searching for that answer on social media. And I'm going to start by attributing credit where credit is uh, due, right? So uh, someone from the design circle who is also a CCC, a, a Canva certified creative, uh, came up with a, a hack or an alternative solution to create this outline with Canva. So this person is uh, Ramon, his name is Ramon Quintero. Uh, we are going to go straight to the Canva design circle. And I'm just going to show you the post so you can find it if you want. Uh, so you just search the group for Ramon Quin Quintero and then you will find Ramon's post. This is this post right here, I'm going to show it to you. So uh, how to use Duotone to uh, create the outline color around this photo. So he has a short tutorial, but what I'm going to do right now uh, is to show you this technique for one of my designs. So you can also try to reproduce it for uh, your own design. So let's go. So for this, uh, of course, we are going to start from scratch as I like to do it. So I'm creating a new page, getting rid of the background. We have a nice white canvas. So the first thing you need to do is to have a photo. Let's say we want this photo of the Statue of the Liberty. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is to make the photo full screen like this. Pretty good. And I am going to use the um, remove background, the background remover from Canva. So this option can be found under the effects button right here, only if you are a Canva Pro user. So this is super important that you realize that only the paid member of Canva, the pro subscription members of Canva will have the remove background. How do you call it in, in Canva is background remover. If you do not have a Canva Pro subscription, you can always use uh, remove.bg uh, website. So this is the same technology. Canva has actually partnered with remove background uh, to integrate this functionality in the Canva app on the Canva platform. So if you're not a paid member of Canva, you can still use remove.bg to uh, get rid of the background of your photo. The only thing is that you won't have the possibility to download this photo in high resolution. You will have a reduced uh, resolution, but it will work anyways. So you can close this tab. And if you want the easy way to do it, I strongly suggest you consider becoming a Canva Pro member. Uh, so there will be a link in the description of this video for you to try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. Um, and if you're already a Canva Pro member, then you have this option available to you already. So let's let's do it. I'm going to click on the photo. Very important that you click on the photo. Otherwise, you won't see the effect button. So click on it, use the effect and go to background remover. Once you click on the background remover background uh, button, sorry, you will see a little wheel here turning. And that means that Canva is doing its thing. It's cropping your photo away from your background. All right. So now I have removed the background successfully. And let me show you that with by adding a background, a colored background. Let's use black. So we have a nice contrast. You see, it's pretty well done. The background remover has done its job very well. Uh, in this case, it might be that in some cases you will have uh, little mistakes in the cropping of the photo. This technology, of course, uh, is not 100% accurate, but I would say it is close to 90% accuracy, which is already a real life changer because uh, the other option is simply to go to a more complicated software like Photoshop to kind of cut out your photo. And this will take you a good 20 minutes if you want to do it correctly, it requires a lot of skills. So uh, remove background, not perfect yet, but uh, very close to being perfect and a life changer in my case, a time saver. So 
So that's, that's the first step. You have to cut out one photo. The next step is that we are going to duplicate this photo. See, I duplicated it here. I'm going to slightly slide it to the right. And next thing, you are going to click on this second on this duplicate and use the effect button one more time. And we are going to go to the Duotone app. So the Duotone app is one of the new editing apps uh, recently added to Canva. So those are third party apps. It might be that you have to install the app. And if it's the case, you will find it here at the bottom of this, um, this menu right here in the effect. So again, you have to click on your photo to so the duplicate Statue of Liberty here, go to effects and then scroll to the bottom and you will see uh, different apps in here. And if you have already installed the Duotone app, it will be the first one on top of your uh, panel here. So if we expand this Duotone to see all, you will see all the different uh, options right here. So really, it's, de it's really depending on you which color you want to go for. Let's go for a pomelo effect like this one. All right, so we have this right now. And what we will do if we like this outline color, we will simply expand it a little bit more. We make it slightly bigger and then we are going to position it exactly on the other photo, okay, like this, and then push it by using the position button, push it backward. Okay, and we already have, and now it's important here that we don't click away. So if I click here, you see I'm losing my other background, my other um, image, the one that has the duotone effect on it, it's in the background. So it might be a little bit complicated to get back to it. So let me show you a, a trick to do so. If you use your shift button and then the tab, you can easily switch between the selected elements. You see I'm using shift and tab on a PC. Not sure exactly what the shortcut would be on the Mac, but I can uh, research that and add this in a card. So shift and tab to quickly toggle between the different uh, elements here, select different elements. So you see what I could do here is make it a little bit bigger and then I'm using my keyboard arrows to simply position this outline wherever I want it. So if we want to make it a little bit bigger, just adjust the size of it and there we go. So this is the first and second step, but what we can do still with this image, the duotone image selected, we could go to the adjust button and blur it slightly. See, we can add some blur to create that glowy effect. So, and we can adjust some more. So let's say I'm, I am going to go for 25 uh, blur. So that's my blur. And I click on adjust one more time and then I can still use my, uh, my keyboard arrow to position this glowing effect uh, exactly where I want it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Once you are happy with the result, you can of course use that and center that as you wish on your design. So let's see, I'm going to push that down a little bit like this. And let's say you want to create a thumbnail based on this, you could select them both, group it. So now it sticks together. You can position it in one side on your design and then add some text here by calling the text box. For example, let's say New York, uh, New York vlog number one, for example, I don't know. You can create whatever uh, design you want based on that. So let me just center this like this. And this is just one, uh, one idea. You can duplicate this and kind of add the same color as, uh, as your, your glowing effect to create something interesting here. Uh, but then this is up to your personal creativity, I would say. But important steps. Let me recap the steps to create this glowing outline around a photo of yours. First, you need to select a photo. Second step, you need to use the background remover. If you're a pro user, it's integrated straight into Canva. If you're not a pro user, you can go to remove.bg. And then the third step would be to duplicate that cut out photo. 
fourth step would be to apply the duotone effect to your photo. And then the fifth step is just to blur this duotone picture a little bit so that you create a glowing effect and then position it in the sixth step. So it's a six step process to create something like this. You don't have to blur, but it's really up to you what kind of uh, final result you want to create. You see here in my first example, I have a slightly smaller outline uh, and I blurred it to kind of create this neon effect. So that's how you do it, guys. Uh, I hope you will have fun with this technique. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you are watching this tutorial on YouTube or comment and tell us what else uh, you would like to learn with Canva if you are watching this video from our Facebook group. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.